Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and we're here to help you out with some headlines. There is a 3D printed self driving bus that someone has let loose on the streets of Washington, D.C. Ollie was made by Local Motors, and it's got some neat tricks up its sleeves. There's an app that allows passengers to summon Ollie for pickup and drop off and 30 sensors on board, which collect data from every trip. It can analyze the data quickly, thanks to help from IBM's Watson technology, and then make decisions about traveling and even answer passenger requests in the future. Ollie can be printed and assembled in about 11 hours total, which is an impressive feat, and Local Motors plans to make micro factories around the world to supply these little buses to major metropolitan cities. Ah, is this just the future of I think uh, metro so. travel? I think so. I mean, I think self-driving cars that you can summon, uh, have it take you, taxi you wherever you need to go, and then go and pick up the next fare is really, that's the future of metropolitan travel. But it's even cooler because it seems like they're so easy. 11 hours to build a car? That's so insane. Fast. So fast. That's wild. It's incredible. I love that they're, it's actually in use. That's my favorite yeah, part. We yeah. don't have to wait. It's here. Pretty good. Well, you have to wait at the bus stop. That's true. <laughs> that's a good point. Well made. Uh... If you thought to yourself, smartphones are not going to change from this square, rectangular boringness, you were wrong. Check out Runcible. Runcible is a circular phone meant to remind users of other similar yet more traditional devices like the pocket watch. Not only is its shape hoping to disrupt the marketplace, its function is too. Runcible doesn't have a notification system and is designed to never interrupt you. You can make calls with it, you can take pictures with it, you can surf the web with it and get directions with it, but Runcible isn't made to do much more than that. They're still in design and testing mode, but if you want an early adopter version, you can back a Runcible for $399 on Indiegogo. What's the use case for this thing? I want my phone to interrupt me. I mean, I know it's annoying sometimes, but sometimes I need to get interrupted by but stuff. But some people don't want that. They get yes. very annoyed by notifications. I think we're power users. Like, we forget yeah. most people have one email account. They don't have to check it all the time. They don't need to be immediately up to date on everything, and this would be kind of a nice alternative. And they have sort of recycled plastic backs. And also, I just find that circular form factor really Yeah, new cool. form factors for phones, I think, is really going to shake things up. Everything looks like an iPhone now. Yeah, you know, everything's just, just a rectangle. Well, yeah. and before that, it you know, phones look... Now that they're phones, they look like little TVs. So it's... we gotta, we got to switch it up. I like yeah. it. Uh, we are not having a long show this week. Yeah. I'll be at VidCon. I'll Whoa. I'll be moderating some panels, oh doing some goodness. stuff. Oh, my goodness. Excitement. So, so if you're in Anaheim, you can get four hours of Ashley Eskeba over the weekend at VidCon. You're more than welcome to buy You know what? Even with four hours, that's not nearly enough. Oh, thank you. You're I appreciate welcome. that. So nice. Um, but if you guys want to talk about the show this week, use the hashtag HeyTV. Yeah. We appreciate hearing from you, having that discussion. We, we like making the show a two-way street, so use that hashtag on the Twitters, and we'll know you're talking about us. Yes. Are you ready to look at a selfie or two? <laughs> I'm excited about this, yeah. All right. Let's check out our phone talker for the day. Holly wrote in and sent these two photos and says, Hello! Wanted to share this photo. This is the first ever selfie that my then 10-year-old son Nathan ever took. We were at Mount Rushmore and he saw his older brother take a selfie, who I'm guessing is on the right. He has to borrow my phone so he could do the same. I love the look of concentration on his face. Uh, I've also included the original selfie taken by said older brother Alex. So we have Alex and Nathan here. That's awesome. I like how he's trying to to you know mimic the look of shock. Yeah, I love it. He said they, she says they were both taken on iPhone 5s. Thanks, love the show. Frequently share clips with these boys, Holly McAvoy. I always um, love so a selfie that has sunglasses in it because then you can see the reflection of the hand taking yeah, the selfie. Yeah, the phone <laughs> taking the selfie. It's very meta. I yeah. dig it. Uh, but yeah, awesome picture. Thank you, Holly, for sending in not one but two selfies. Yeah, pretty good stuff. We love those selfies. This is the, the theme of the month is selfies. Yes, you have one week left. Yeah. Well, one week left. We appreciate you sending those in. All you, all you got to do, send them to tomorrow at CNET.com. Uh, tell us what device you took it on. Tell us how to pronounce your name. Tell us permission to use your photo on our show. And we love little stories like that one. It's so delightful to hear. Story time is great. Uh, we're also on social media. We're tomorrow daily all over the internet shop. So just find us online. And find us as individuals because we like to goof around on, on Twitter. And watch Ashley at VidCon. Yeah, and if you're at VidCon, come say hi. Yeah. Anyway, that is it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact, meaning science fiction, merged together like nuclear fusion. Whoa! But until then. Be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh,